What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm gonna be showing you the three pillars to every successful Shopify store. No matter what store you look at, if it is successful, then it will be doing these three things really, really well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what those three things are. I'm gonna show you how to do them well, and I'm also gonna be showing you some examples of them too. So make sure you stay tuned then, because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some proven product examples, some products which are selling really well right now. I'm gonna be showing you some successful Shopify store designs as well. So we're gonna be taking a look at some stores and just going through their design, the layout, sort of imagery and aesthetics of the site. And I'm also gonna be showing you some viral Facebook ad examples too. So that's the topic of the video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so pillar number one has to be the product arguably the most important part to any business. Obviously, if you don't have a product that's in demand that people find of value and people actually want to buy, then obviously you're not gonna have a business that gets off the ground. Now, when it comes to actually picking a product, then I see people making some fundamental mistakes, and that is that they actually need to consider what kind of platform you're actually gonna be selling the product on. So what you have to keep in mind is the type of person you're gonna be targeting with your ad, with the advertising, with the campaigns that you're running, and consider the actual mind frame and mindset that person is in. So to give you kind of like a clear cut example, if you're trying to find a product or pick a product to sell on Facebook, that product that you pick has to meet different criteria versus a product that you pick to sell using Google Ads. And the reason being is because people go onto Google and they search for suppliers or they search for products that they want to buy, whereas on Facebook, people aren't in that mind frame and they're not looking for that sort of thing. When people are on Facebook, then they're obviously on there scrolling through their news feed. Um, seeing what their friends are up to, watching funny videos or talking to their friends even. They might not even have their payment information with them. So when you hit them with an ad for a certain product, unless it meets certain criteria, it's not gonna capture their attention and they're just gonna scroll right past it and they're not gonna make a purchase. Whereas on Google, the complete opposite is true. If somebody's looking to buy something, they'll go onto Google and they'll search for it. So let's take an extreme example and just kind of highlight the point I'm trying to make here is if we take a sofa as an example, let's say a thousand pound sofa, if we try and sell this on Facebook, um, the chances of getting somebody to make a purchase on Facebook the first time they see an ad is obviously gonna be really, really slim because who scrolls through their newsfeed um, looking at funny videos and then all of a sudden sees an advert for a sofa for a thousand pound and impulse buys it right there and then. It, the chances are gonna be super, super slim. Whereas if we were to run ads for a sofa on Google, we can obviously target people based on what their search preferences are, or what the search history is, or the search terms are, I should say. So we can target people who are looking for search terms such as cheap sofas or buy sofa or quick delivery sofa and put our ad in front of those people who are looking to buy that expensive product. To give you some great examples then of proven products which are selling right now in high volume, let's take this electric hand massager as the first example. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the, of the, end of the video because I'm gonna show you the viral Facebook ads that have actually been used to sell these products which prove them to be great products. So number one, what I really like about this product is there's a specific audience which matches the average user of Facebook. Number two is you can actually source this product from many different countries, Czech Republic, Australia, Spain, China, US and France. So no matter where you wanna sell this product, you can offer decent, fast delivery, which is super important when it comes to building a sustainable and profitable business. And number two is quite an expensive product. At $40, you would be looking to sell this probably for around $70 to $80, which leaves a healthy profit margin. Plus, because of the technology and the value kind of insisted in this product, it helps solve people of a literal pain point, um, then the value of this it's quite a high value product essentially, so people would be willing to pay that sort of amount. Plus, what I also really like about this product is when you come across it, you wouldn't instantly think Amazon or you wouldn't instantly think eBay or you wouldn't instantly think um, some form of a department store that's local to you because it's not the sort of thing that you see every day on the shelves, which again, make it more appealing for a Facebook product. Product number two is this Bluetooth sleep mask. Um, sleep is becoming forever a more and more popular topic. More and more people are kind of taking care of their health 
um, especially because of the kind of increase in mental health challenges. A lot of people are taking these sorts of things a lot more seriously, so it's a growing market. Again, the price point is good. At purchase price of $10, you would be looking to sell this for $34. So again, the profit margins are pretty decent. And also what I like about this product is again, it has a literal pain point in which it solves for people and people can genuinely see a benefit to actually using it. And so just to summarize, point number one is the product. Make sure you pick a product that is in demand and people actually want to buy. And like I said earlier, make sure you stay tuned where I'm gonna be showing you the viral Facebook ads that go with these products too. So with that being said, then let's move on to pillar number two is you need a platform to sell these products on. So in a second, we'll jump into my computer. We'll take a look at a couple of really nice looking stores, which I've been following for a while now. But if I just want to take a quick minute then to talk about some of the places in which I see some people going wrong. And the main place is is making your store look the same as everybody else's. So what a lot of beginners tend to do is they'll choose the debut theme, it's the most popular one. They'll change out the colors, maybe the font. To be honest, most people will stick to the default font. They'll add their product images and think they're good to go. And then whilst that can work, I have seen that work before, it's definitely not giving you the best chances of success. And to give you the best chances of success, there's no better way than looking at successful Shopify stores that are already doing it. So let's jump into store number one, which is petdentist.co.uk. Um, they're a UK based business. I really like these guys because they're super heavy on the branding that they use. And there's no way of really telling that this is an actual Shopify store. For somebody to come on it, they wouldn't know it's Shopify. They wouldn't know it's drop shipping. It looks super professional. Everything is kind of custom imagery, which they've put together themselves, or obviously paid a designer to do. And there would be no hesitation from whatsoever from any visitor coming onto this store thinking whether it's legit or not. That is the biggest obstacle you will have to overcome. Putting together a brand new store and selling products is trust from your customers. So if we take a quick look at this store then before moving on to the second one, at the top they have a scrolling announcement bar. Just a little touch to the normal announcement bar to kind of um, separate it from the typical announcement bar. It just adds that kind of level of customization and professionalism. They have a really nice logo, which is color themed to match the rest of the store. It's obviously pet dentist. It has that kind of hygienic feel. So instead of going for a really kind of garish yellow or some random reddish color, they've gone for that kind of hygienic color, which you would expect of that kind of turquoisey green. And they've got custom images, which they've took the background out of put onto one image together and put a nice pattern and logo and slogan which matches the overall branding and theme of the company. They've done such a nice job with this website. Um, it's one of my favorite ones for sure. Just scrolling down then we can see again, it's consistent with the colors they've used, consistent with the fonts they've used. They've got custom images of dogs and the actual products rather than just the ones typically taken from AliExpress. Now, obviously these are drop shipping products, but it doesn't matter. You can take the product images from AliExpress, chop the background out and put your own and apply your own backgrounds and fonts, etc., to them. If we take a look at this section here, it looks really, really nice. They've obviously got the same background with a logo in the top right or top left with the images cropped onto top. It just looks super professional and super in brand. And the thing is to create these sorts of things on Canva would literally take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take long, but the difference it can make to visitors coming onto your store is significant. Moving on to store number two then, um, again, another one of my favorites, it's featured in my videos before, but it makes a great example time and time again. And the reason being is because it's a proven seven figure store. So we have a seven figure design and layout of a store. We have a seven figure product. And if we go to the Facebook ad library, we can actually see what seven figure Facebook ads look like too. So it's shiftbraces.com. If we head over to the exchange marketplace, we can see shiftbraces.com. They want 79 grand to buy this business. And we can look at their total revenue, which is over $2 million, but they stopped trading in August, 2020. And I believe it's been on the exchange marketplace since then for sale and nobody has bought it since. So over $2 million in revenue and it was selling this product here. But if we take a look at the similarities of this store with the previous one, we can still see shiftbraces.com. Again, it has that kind of 
health or hygienic feel for it. The product itself is obviously to help people with bad knees so they can function properly. So they've gone with that kind of turquoisey color. It's consistent throughout the theme of the store. So instead of just having like a white bone or a blue bone in there, it has that kind of green turquoisey tinge, which they have in the logo and with the accents on the menus at the top. If we have a look at the product pages themselves, we can see really nice clear cut images with kind of like shadows at the bottom, makes it look really professional. I don't know if these are taken from AliExpress or not, but either way, they look really nice. Um, they've got the same accent colors, which are consistent throughout. They've got the dynamic checkout button so people can see straight away they can use PayPal as an option. This will definitely, definitely, definitely increase your conversion rate. If you haven't got a dynamic checkout button on your store, I recommend putting one on there and seeing the results and the differences that it can actually make. They have more custom imagery with their logos with the same colors that are consistent throughout and all of it just kind of adds up to make the store look a lot more professional and in the eyes of consumer a lot more legitimate and trustworthy. And so with that being said then we can move on to the third and final pillar which is your Facebook ads. So just a quick recap then so far we need a product which is in demand proven to sell that people actually want to buy because it brings value to their life and number two we need a super slick and professional and trustworthy shop store to sell those products on and then the third and final pillar is we need a great Facebook ad which is going to stop people in their tracks when they're scrolling through Facebook and capture their attention so let's take a look at this first Facebook ad which is for this sleep mask which I showed you earlier on as it plays in the background I'll just kind of talk through the kind of things that stand out to me that we can implement into our own Facebook ads so number one is it features real people. It's not just a slideshow of the actual product, it shows actors, it could be the actual business owners, demonstrate how the product works and the fact that there's real people showing how the product works humanizes the business, makes it more trustworthy. It also demonstrates all the different applications you can use the product. So it can help you get a better night's sleep day to day. It can help you if you like to travel a lot. It can help you on long car journeys. There's more than one application for this particular product. We can also take a look at the ad copy at the top, the actual description, very short, sharp, to the point with bullet points the use of emojis to clearly identify the key information. And if we have a look at the comments down below, we can see 7,000 reactions, nearly 6,000 comments and 2,000 shares. If we actually look at the comments themselves, they're super positive too. So one of my most greatest purchases, I love these, so comfortable, just so dreamy, highly recommended. And there's another one as well from Jules that says, I've got mine and I love them. I live in a really busy road and these have been brilliant. Things like this will honestly can make a significant difference to the amount of people that trust your business. Click the ads, go to your website and actually buy it because they can see that there's real people on Facebook that have purchased this product and they love it. Moving on to the second product then, which is the hand massager. One of my favorite products, I'm just going to play it in the background and talk you through uh, the things that kind of um, highlight themselves to me that we can implement into our own Facebook ads. Straight away at the top, the use of emojis, five stars, super attention grabbing, and then straight into a quote from a past customer. So my daughter bought me one and it helps so much. There's kind of like the validation, the product definitely works. Number two, I have arthritis and it helps restore movement. Number two, that's the value of the product, what it can do for somebody. Plus it's taken all the swelling Plus it has taken out, sorry, the swelling and pain. I would highly recommend this product from Debbie S. So straight in there with a testimonial showing what the product can do for someone um, and the actual benefits of it. Anybody who comes across this Facebook ad and has arthritis as well would instantly be interested because of the testimonial, because of the headline and the attention grabbing kind of sense of the description at the top. If we take a look at the video, I don't know it's been playing in the background, we can see again, it features somebody actually using the product. There's no better way to advertise a product than show how it uses and describe the features and benefits in the background. So it says you can get relief from strained, sore and stiff hands, which pretty much encompasses everybody. It helps relieve pain from things like carpal tunnel and arthritis and helps unlock fixed fingers. So a really good effective ad could be filmed and created very cheaply simply using an iPhone. If we take a look at the comments as well and the engagements, so we can see 4.2K engagements, 1,000 comments, 800 shares. And um, you can see the comment from me, I wanted to follow this one. 
Um, we're going to ignore that comment, try and find some positive ones. So we can see, I love it, I use mine every day, straight away, that instant validation. I treat myself to one this Christmas and well pleased with it, again, more validation. Comments like this, honestly, they help sell the product so much because people instantly bypass any trust issues because they can see there's real people from the world, from Facebook, who have clicked the ad, bought the product and absolutely loved it. And therefore there's no reason to not trust this business because there's real people who have been before them and done the same thing essentially. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I really hope you enjoyed this one. More importantly, I hope you learned something that will take it away, that you can take away and help you be more successful in your own business. If you feel like you just need that extra helping hand and you would like a mentor, somebody to kind of hold your hand through the whole process and look over your shoulder step by step, talk to on a daily basis, check out my Ecom Accelerator program. If you want more information, comment Accelerator down below and I'll send you the link for more information. It's a 60 day program where you'll get my personal phone number. We can talk daily on WhatsApp. We'll meet once a week on Zoom just to help you get to that point at the end of 60 days of meeting your goals. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.